All right, so we just got into our hotel, bruh. I literally walk in, there's a single on the right of me, a king size bed on the left of me. Tell me right now, there isn't a towel on the ground with freaking slippers on it. Look at this. Those right there are immediately being taken straight back to Valencia, Spain with me and being put directly on my feet right now. <laughs> Who is calling right now? Taylor Lopez. Wait. If there's slippers, there's 100% gotta be a robe in here. Oh no! I'm yeah. This is going directly on right now. Yep. That seems about right. We got a full blown robe going on. <laughs> Now we're talking. Hey, this hotel is way too nice for us to be in. Five stars not appropriate for our well-being right now. All right, so we are currently in Rome, Italy, trying, attempting to get in the Vatican. The line is stupidly short today. So sure. I don't know why. I don't know why less people think, came, but I think we could get in in like maybe like 15 minutes. Really? I was gonna I say was like gonna seven. Say like six. Six. Okay. Just I don't know if I want to wait that long though. Six, six is kind of long. Yeah, but um, either way, attempting to get in the Vatican, chilling in Rome. Of course, we got Caramino. She reminded me to get on a little little vlog sesh, and we have Kristen. Um, yeah, what's the plan? What's the game plan? Bro, we have been waiting in this line for like an hour and just found out it's for the Basilica, not the Vatican. That's education right there. So we made it through that line and are hustling because Adam is waiting at Vatican. We're gonna hustle in here. Bus it for about five minutes, sprint over to Vatican, get in before 4 p.m., buy our tickets, see the Sistine Chapel, <laughs> and then we have two hours to walk around. Let's do it. We'll make it happen. Literally huge. St. Peter's Basilica. This is incredible. This is incredible. That was worth it right there. I had a little pit stop in St. St. Peter's Basilica. We got a student discount. Instead of 17 euros, we paid eight. So we are coasting today. We are doing good. Um, right now, ripping a little escalator up to the top. And then we're going in Vatican. We made it, let's see what, how much time we had to spare. As hitting the St. Peter's Basilica and getting through, getting our tickets, 3.56, baby. And it closes at four. So we're in, we got two hours till six to uh, tour the Vatican. Vatican City, baby. Talk about straight sensory overload directly to the freaking cerebellum, directly to the cerebral cortex. God, the Vatican City is incredible. So it is literally its own city. So it's in Rome, but like it's its own city. Rome is its own city. Vatican is its own city. Vatican City. The attention to detail in art is ridiculous here. All throughout Europe, there's so much artwork. It's ridiculous and culture and history. The history is phenomenal. You come in here and it's just sensory overload. Onwards to the Capella Sistina. Sistine Chapel, baby. We knocked out 
Vatican and St. Peter's Basilica today. We're crunched on time, but we made it happen. And it is, I say, frio right now. Super freaking cold. But yeah, we're walking back. Super good sunset in Roma, Italy. Feeling successful that we were able to knock out both of those massive monuments and tourist sites with the little time we had. The best part was definitely seeing the Sistine Chapel. You get to see Michelangelo's work. That's a moment of a lifetime right there. I logged that one, got yelled at a couple times for taking some videos, got yelled at a couple more times for getting some dope Snapchats that I will throw right here. The black ice is so sketchy. And that's gonna conclude our day. Rome, Italy, complete.